Hello family, it is Brittany with Eating Elephants and oh my gosh, Lock family. Like if you followed my channel in order to watch the progress of my locks and see lock videos, I am so sorry because <laughs> it's been so long since I've done a lock video. So um, my locks are three years old now and today I am going to do a apple cider vinegar rinse it's gonna be my first one of course i wash my hair regularly but we all know locks you know there is stuff in there that you won't get out just washing it so i'm going to do an apple cider vinegar rinse right now i have some water coming to a boil i'm going to do really really hot water so you guys will definitely not be able to see but um my my scalp flakes a lot and the flakes get caught in my locks and i'm hoping to get a lot of that out and of course just the debris from um or the build up from just stuff that it catches in the air and lint and shampoo residue and things like that but i do not put any products in my hair i haven't even oiled my scalp in a long time which it flakes you know every once in a while but i mostly just moisturize with water and rose water so um, I shouldn't have product buildup per se, but there's things in the environment that just get trapped in there along with the flakes, as I said, and lint. So I'm really excited to do this and I'm just waiting on my water to boil. I'm gonna get my oil and my lemon juice if I have it and I will be right back. Bye-bye. I may regret having it this hot, we'll see. Lemon juice. Apple cider vinegar. I did not measure that. I just kind of poured. Baking soda. Chemical reaction. Rose water. And tea tree oil. Just a few drops. And I'm going to stir it up to make sure all of that baking soda is dissolved. Here's the before shot. It's not necessarily clear and you can see some pulp from the lemon in there but I'm sure it'll be a lot darker after the rinse okay so number one don't do it with boiling hot water because you won't be able to get it very thoroughly into the hair that is close to your scalp because it's boiling freaking water. And I'm a dumb dumb for not foreseeing that. <laughs> um, so just do hot water, you know, as hot as you would take a shower in. So I didn't get it as thoroughly close to my scalp as I would have liked to, but I was able to get most of my hair in the water to soak for um, when the solution to soak for quite a bit of time, um, about 10 minutes for my total head. Um, one day I want to do one where I can get most of my head, I can lay back and get most of my head submerged and just sit for like a good long while. That's not gonna happen today with me standing up, leaning over a, a, a bowl of boiling hot water. But let me see you how, let me show you how dirty it got. Look at that. Ooh. Number two. Ooh. Number three. I said I was only gonna do it once and then I was gonna go take a shower and wash my hair. But <laughs> once I saw how dirty that first batch of water was when I poured it in the sink, uh, I was like, no, I need to at least do this one more time. So I actually ended up doing it two more times. And the third time, uh, the water was a little clearer than it had been. It was still very dirty, but I really have to take a shower and go to bed now. Um, so I'm leaving it at that. 
I definitely am going to do this on a regular, maybe like monthly. Um, I really enjoyed having the tea tree oil in there. It really helps the smell because I don't love how apple cider vinegar smells. So it kind of neutralizes that vinegary smell. If you like the, the smell of tea tree oil, which I do, it smells very clean. But um, I'm going to shampoo my hair. Um, I'm going to use Suave Clarifying today. Usually I use um, a natural shampoo bar. But today, um, because I want to get all of that vinegar and baking soda out of my hair and then everything that the solution drew out of my hair, I want to get all of that out. I'm going to use Suave Clarifying. So I'm going to go do that, take my shower, wash my hair, and then I will come and tell you guys my final review or my final thoughts on this process. But I am impressed um, with how much stuff is coming out of my hair. I, I do wash it often and I don't use products, so, whew, but I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm impressed, but not surprised because I've watched, like we all have, I've watched many videos of people doing this. So if you guys haven't noticed, I do have Halloween decorations going and there were Halloween decorations behind me when I was at the table. So yeah, I should have mentioned that. So yeah, I will be back. Okay, so here's my locks. They are clean, I washed them. And they already feel a little lighter than they did before, even with them being soaking wet right now. So even though they're wet, they really, they feel dry, okay? I did soak them in a very strong vinegar and baking soda solution three good times. And so, yeah, um, I'm not surprised that it does feel dry. Um, I do not condition my locks. I think conditioner is the devil for locks and if you condition your locks that you are definitely definitely piling up some some hella build up <laughs> so i do not do that sometimes i'll do a light oil um i may do olive oil or coconut oil on my scalp but um i won't be putting anything on my locks unless i spray some rose water on it which i might but uh i'm very happy with the results um i don't know if they look any different um probably not so people who have really old locks you can see like a completely different color like especially white people actually like when they do the acv rinse like their hair can go down a whole shade um but when you have darker hair um i don't think you see that color change but i definitely feel a difference they are lighter even though like i said there is a lot of water in them still because i washed them they are lighter um so yeah and um i'll talk about what my routine is and if i twist if i don't how often i twist if i do and all that kind of stuff um i'll make a video updating you guys on all of that and telling you kind of my story of my locks because i haven't told you guys about them in so long so yeah i really need to go um Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos about locks and everything else that I talk about. And how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Bye-bye.